Hey guys, we're playing Nova Drift. Learn. There's a learn button. Evolution. You control a rapidly evolving biomechanical ship-like organism. Defeat enemies to release orbs, which can be collected to gain experience. When you earn enough experience, your level increases and you gain an upgrade. Upgrades can be spent to either swap out gear or purchase a mod. Gear. Gear defines the fundamental aspects of your ship. It's weapon, body, and shield. You may have no more than one of each. When you use an upgrade or select gear, it will replace your current gear with a new one. Weapon gear allows you to attack enemies. Body gear defines your hull strength and thrust, along with granting various capabilities. Shield gear defines your shield durability, shield cooldown, and shield effect. Mods or modules uh, modify or improve the capabilities granted by your gear. There's no limit to how many mods you can have, and you will never lose. It, and you will never lose them, even if you change gear. Mods sometimes grant p uh, power in exchange for disadvantage. So, whoa, there's a lot going on here. Survival, always be moving. This is all the tips, I guess. There might still be information in here. Uh, setting yourself adrift before aiming will often make enemies miss. After you take damage, your shield begins its cooldown. After cooldown, a shield's full durability is restored. Taking damage restarts your shield's cooldown. Taking damage while your shield is down is very dangerous. Evasion can buy you time, but take too long and more will come. Beware lingering on the edges of the battlefield. Though warping to the opposite side can solve many problems. You regenerate hull strength 33% faster when you're not firing. As waves advance, the chance of enemies to spawn as elites or champions increases, while the time allowed to defeat your enemies decreases. Elites and champion enemies are tougher, but grant more experience orbs. Upgrade. Persist. This is a long intro. intro. You, you, as you unlock mods and gear, you will gain access to powerful specialized build options as well as additional rerolls. You can reroll the mods you were offered. Spend rerolls wisely. They allow you to create a more focused build. Mods are arranged in, a, in pairs of four, called a mod tree. Purchasing the first mod adds the next tier of mods to your random mod pool. Beware of mod effects listed in red. They can be powerful or certain death, depending on your current upgrades. Do not underestimate the need for defensive mods. They synergize with each other, just as offensive upgrades do. Mechanics. Consider enabling as many challenge modes as possible. The increased experience will allow you to reach greater levels of power. For projectile attacks that deteriorate over time, increasing size and velocity re results in greater range. Size and velocity also increase your range? Hmm. If a mod is completely incompatible with your current mods or gear, it is often not an option when you upgrade. All damage is either classified as hit damage or burn damage. Burn damage occurs persistently over time and cannot trigger on hit effects. Self-inflicted damage does not interrupt your shield cooldown and can be used to trigger on hit upgrade effects. Oh. So there's a trick there. Self-damage can trigger certain effects that you might want to have triggered without the downside of, you know, Getting shot by an enemy, I guess. We have practice and endless. Waves advance slower, take less uh, less damage to take, and scores are not recorded. It's, not, it's also not an option. Oh, it's a toggle. Oh, I can. Oh, okay. So I can turn practice on, and I can toggle between a bunch of other settings if I have them, which I don't. And which things are toggled on and off to affect my score bonus and upgrade bonus. Okay, I have to unlock them all. Left th triggers thrust, right triggers fire. Oh. Oh. It controls like uh, asteroid is what it's called, I think. You have tank controls. That's unexpected. That is unexpected, okay. Let's use that upgrade. Okay. Torrent. Deploy a close range, widespread, rapid fire lattice of energy. Projectiles travel in sine waves and degenerate. Can I get this mouse off the screen? 
Projectiles travel in sine waves and degenerate. Hmm. Reduce thrust. Grenade. Deploy a highly explosive cluster grenade. Hmm. Scales with the blast radius. Pulse. Throw short range powerful electromagnetic blast. Closer targets take double damage. They're all they're all pretty close range, aren't they? Zero zero point one two secondary projectiles. What? I'll just try this one. What? It's like a shotgun blast. Okay. Unexpected. Body upgrades. Sentinel engineer assault. Shield damage resistance effect radius? Why do you want the shield to be bigger? I'm not sure why. Or wait, does my shield not cover all sides of me? This makes your shield better, but you shoot slower. Oh, it changes your... Changes your whole strength, too. Assault makes you shoot faster, but your weapons move slower, which might be good, maybe? To cover the more defense, uh, defensive range with your attacks, like, kind of lingering, maybe? Shields get weaker. Weapon projectiles... Oh, spread, not speed. Sorry. It moves faster, increased velocity, and it spreads less, so it's more focused. Body, engineer. Two... Oh. Increased limit on constructs. Hmm. That's probably, like, drones or some other things that help me in some way, which I haven't unlocked yet. But let's take a risk. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get a chance to unlock them. That'd be neat. Get him. This is a brutal gun to have. And just to wear its asteroid uh, genes on its sleeve, there straight up is, there are just asteroids around too. Shield. Halo. A searing hot ring burns enemies within the radius. Halo ignites enemies for 60 burning damage. It drains shield when in contact, though. Warp. When destroyed, the shield teleports you to a distance equal to the shield effect radius. Creates a deadly pulse on entry and exit, dealing 400 damage. Ooh. Ex an explosive attack and relocation when I lose my shield. Shield reflect. Reflects enemy weaponry and boosted power. Enemies within your shield effect radius are targeted. 700% damage on an affected enemy weaponry. And bonus velocity. Hmm. So it reflects their attacks back at them, but I have to deal with the fact that it, uh, still me getting hits. I don't know. It might be a good thing to have. So whenever shields hold, it also reflects the attacks back at them. It seems neat. Oh, yeah, the screen. Okay. So, yeah, the, uh... Oh god, I lost track of which side of this ship was the front. Okay. So yeah, this uh, the it it, it the screen loops like Pac-Man. I'm bad at dual stick shooters when they're not tank controls, so I'm even worse now. Just crashing now. There we go. Please recover. Okay. Whoa. Oh, mods. I can choose mods or gear now. So I think you have to wait until you get all of your gear first. And now I can swap these out if I want. They gave me one different option for each one that's not the one I had already. A railgun, temporal. I want to figure out how to get these constructs that I... Oh, drones. Assemble and deploy automatic drones, which orbit you and attack targets. Standard construct. My limit is two. Regeneration improves your passive regeneration rate. Rapid fire, faster ship cooldown thrust, shield durability, deploy mines. Mines are also. Uh, let's do drones. That's what I was thinking of when I saw that upgrade in the first place. Uh oh. Whew. That went weirdly well. 
Oh god. It's like a mothership is attacking me. Uh oh. Get them all. Yeah. How do I drone? Oops. My bad. Okay. Uh, constructs. Limit. Uh, I don't... I missed the pop about the controls. How do I... Rocket drones. Ooh. Instead of firing bullets, they fire accelerating rockets. That could be cool. They do more damage and they have less rate of fire. Let's try that out. Oh boy. I have such an absurd, weird, inaccurate shotgun that kind of just aims wherever it feels like. Where are my drones? Is that a, is that, that's not a drone. Uh... I wish I understood how to make my drones happen. Reinforced drones, more strength. Yeah, I'd love that. But how do I make them exist? Ooh, more projectiles. Blast radius. Velocity. Uh, more regeneration's good. I don't know what button to press. Do I have drones right now or not? There we go. X. There we go. I'm like, where'd they hide it? Oh, shit. Their projectile's scary. Yes. Go, rockets. Aim for me. I'm so badass and scary now. <laughs> oh, God. Yes. So how do I... I don't know what how what lets me build more of them when exactly. But okay. <laughs> One more limit plus. Unlocks mod for specialized drone types. Every time I level up, I gain 1.25% drone hull strength and damage. Alright. Seems neat. Now I can build one more. Also, I've got another one of these. Uh, make the shield bigger. More deflection, I guess. Hmm. Ooh, make the weapon just bigger in general. That's pretty good. Ooh. Now I've got five of these guys shooting rockets everywhere. Oh. I don't want to be around those when they go off. So it's a good thing I have a longer range drone to cover for the fact that I don't have a lot of range with my normal attack. Or control. I guess I can just, I can just be holding this down a lot of the time, actually. It'll just fix a lot of my problems and I can focus on driving. I also don't have to aim this weapon. So that makes it easier to handle the driving. I kind of just lucked into a weapon that ha I can handle well without knowing at all what I was getting. I only don't want to shoot if I want to regenerate my shield faster between waves. Projectile targeting? Adds or improves? Ooh. Even bigger weapon size. Weapon torrent, shield temporal. No. I, I, what is this? You have no shield? Nope. <laughs> nope. Big nope. Let's do even bigger attack. Oh god, it's so big. I don't know what controls how fast I can or can't build drones. Because sometimes I press the drone building button and it doesn't build me a drone. Maybe it's per wave? Or there's some other limitation I don't know about. That guy had drones too. Maybe it's just a cooldown. More strength for their... That'd be good. Good. 
Convert your drones into defense drones. 120% drone strength plus one limit. Defense drones prioritize hazards over enemies. Huh. Prevent the assault drones upgrade. Let's wait. Let's wait for that one to show up. Wait, I have rerolls. Let's, pre let's press reroll. Reinforced drones. I want assault drones. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? Eh, more strength. Oh boy. Do I think the projectiles are hitting my drones and killing them? Yep. Which makes it harder for me to kill them in the first place. Shit. Oh. I probably want to increase my shield radius. If my shield radius is bigger, it would probably defend my drones. Keeping them alive for my purposes. Interesting. Charge shot. Where's my assault drones? Oh. Hold down fire to charge your weapon. I kind of like auto firing, honestly. Faster firing rate would be good. Faster shield cooldown. Hmm. I feel like I can get something better. If I. Yeah. Full strength, passive regen. Hmm. No. With shields up, shields regenerate at 70% effect, but with shields up, hull regenerates at 30% effect. With shields down, hull regenerates at 100% effect. Interesting. Hmm. This makes my shield bigger, which deflects more projectiles to keep my drones alive, I think. I don't know if it'll reach or not. Ooh. Ew, but it makes them weaker. Assault drones, there it is. They shoot faster. I get one more limit. Enables further offensive, yeah. Let's get that one. That's what I wanted. Oh, they're scary now. <laughs> when do I get to build my sixth one, though? I only have five. I already had five. There it is. Yeah, there's just some sort of cooldown somewhere. Maybe it's in the corner on that icon up there. Oh no. Oh, this is a boss, isn't it? Or what's going on? Oh boy. That was concerning. You upgrade. You level up fast in this game. Forma formation Pursuit. New drone formation. Ability to toggle between them. Drones in formation. Pursuit. Abandon your side to hunt down enemies. Uh, I don't know if I want that, actually. It's a little scary. Ally. Assemble and deploy an advanced autonomous ally? Advanced construct, limit one. That's pretty cool. I would like to have just an extra dude going around and then maybe they fight that guy for me. They fight that guy alongside of fighting me. That's interesting. Oh, does he hang out around? No, he doesn't hang out around me. <laughs> oh yeah, they both have cooldowns. Oh god, oh, oh no, the controls are getting too complicated. I'm mixing them up now. Okay, so he's going. He's just going around fighting for me. Neat. So I have to use the D-pad to change what I want to spawn. And then I press X to spawn the item. I just have to remember to check periodically. Pursuit. What's the other formation? Hmm. Increase radius and power. It's just a straight bonus. I'm curious if it'll block my drones. I don't think it did. <laughs> oh god, I didn't mean to do that. That was a mistake. Oh boy. Watch out for them projectiles. Oh boy. It takes a bit longer for my other guy to respawn. Mixing up my, I'm mixing up all my buttons because I'm, I'm thinking about too many different buttons now between the D-pad, the X, and both triggers. I'll figure it out. Oh boy. I'm doing unusually well for this genre. It might just be an easier game at the moment. Oh boy, that guy just creepily warped in, like face first. Rapid reconstruction greatly improves regen rate. You have, yeah, that's the you have no shield one. Uh-uh.
Ooh, 40% shield rate. Uh, power reduced radius or power reduced, uh, increased radius, reduced durability. Mm, I think I want the one that sticks out. I want my I want my friends to be safe if I can. Wait, wait! I can make more than one advanced construct. When did that happen? I have multiple allies now. Soon I will have a fleet. Oh, that's a boss. How, how dangerous are you? You seem dangerous. Oh god, it's charging beams, isn't it? Yep. My my guys are just inside of him, though. It's weird. Oh, he's breaking. He's breaking. Uh, adds improves projectile weaponized shields. Adds a weaponized shield effect in your, to any shield. Targets within weaponized effect take 20% plus 20% total damage modified by shield effect power. Huh. Formation Battalion. Gain a new draw information and the ability to toggle between them. They line up along your flanks and fire ahead of you. I like that they fire on their own, though. <laughs> hmm. But they shoot faster in this in this thing, and you, and you can toggle. Your ally focus fires the last target you damage. Also neat. Just an AI change for them, basically. This it's pretty straightforward right now. The target is kill the boss. Oh boy. Oh, that's a lot of bullet hell bad news for me to dodge in my not good controls. Okay. Okay. I have good shields, though, thankfully. Which has a marginal effect on helping me here. <laughs> uh, my allies died. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, boy. Where am I? Oh, no. Ugh, I clicked between the two cam- No! No! The edge of the screen is screwing with me. I think I- I think I- I might have almost died? I don't know. No, I, th I think I- I think I haven't taken whole damage yet. I'm largely okay. Oh man. Getting stuck between the edges of the screen is really confusing. There we go. Got all my dudes coming in. Uh oh. Taking some hits. <laughs> I'm having fun with this. Faster shield cooldown's probably a good idea. Ooh. Allies get more hull strength and fire rate per level. And they get better and they become better allies over time. Your ally regenerates 2% of its maximum hull strength per second. Also a good idea. Yeah. I've done this multiple times now. There's mo there's been multiple ship games I play where I do a run that's built around me having a bunch of allies I spam and I feel like I break the game until I very abruptly die. I've done this in like multiple like space roguelikes. I use drones to compensate for the fact that I generally don't have the best aiming and everything. Oh no. Uh, I bet that just kills you. <laughs> Being a singularity and all. Oh, do not go through the other side of the camera. If I go through the other side, I'll probably clip right through and die. I gotta, I gotta be careful, because the camera the camera loops. Which is a problem if the singularity is on the other side of the map. Oh boy. Oh boy. Woohoo! Oh boy. Oh no. Okay. Lots happening. Your allies transformed into an interceptor. What does that mean? <laughs> that doesn't really describe much about it. Uh, increased speed and damage. All right. Cool. Be a cool dude. I have a fleet of cool dudes. All of my friends are dying. <laughs> it's not good. It's not a good feeling. Oh, there's the interceptor. I see him. Cruising around, being fast, shooting fast, being a badass. I'm losing all my... Oh, meteors. Comets, whatever. Something. 
I've never been good at the terminology there. Oh boy. Spawn that new interceptor. There we go. I'm sure having a shield that just bounces projectiles back has not been harming me. It's probably been an alright thing to have. They definitely take hits. I'm basically not taking any risks with my upgrades. They're all just flat good things with no downsides as much as I can. Oh boy. It's a lot of bad guys. <laughs> it's a lot of bad guys coming at me at the same time. Uh, increased velocity and damage, maybe? Let's get the regen one. That always seemed like it was going to be good. Yeah, now my shields are always regening. Instead of just waiting for the cooldown to happen. Ow. Rude. Unfortunately, my allies die a lot. I need an upgrade that makes them hard to kill. They attempt to dodge enemy attacks. Wow. Cool. I just taught him how to not die like an idiot all the time. <laughs> Glad I had to teach him that. <laughs> oh boy. Uh. Got him. That wave got aggressive. That's usually the one where they just kind of passively shoot and then fly away. But it was... There was like a boss in it this time. That's not my teammate, he's just the same color as my teammate, How, which is of course completely not confusing. Oh god. Oh, you're a boss! Keep my drones alive. Oh boy. I'm trying to face the perpendicular direction so I can fly around him when he shoots at me. Oh, ah, uh, my allies died, didn't they? Oh boy, he's doing the spinny things. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. That sun probably hurts. <laughs> oh, that would hurt. The singularity. Yeah. That would hurt. Is he gonna shoot a laser at me or charge me or so Oh, he's making the singularity, isn't he? That's not very nice, sir. Here's a- here's a friend to come at you. And probably fly into your singularity. Oh, is he invincible while those things are around him? Ally he heals constantly. 2% is not very much, though. He seems to die pretty quickly, frankly. Uh, let's do the durability, finally. I put that one off for a while. I should really be making my shield better. Oh god. Cruise away from the danger. Fast as I can. I see you hiding down there, look, trying to act like you're hard to see. Oh god. That was damaging. Oh. Oh, no. If I'm far away enough, less of it will hit me, I guess. Oh, shit. No. <sighs> oh. What an anticlimactic ending. <laughs> but they covered the screen with so many projectiles. And what, what killed me was ultimately what I thought would kill me the whole time, which is going through one side of the screen, coming out the other one, into a bad... Yeah, that's a brutal thing to mix. It's the, uh, the Pac-Man logic screen crossed with the asteroids control scheme, so it's really easy to accidentally drift, into the, the, drift off the screen on the other side where a completely different environment is happening. Alright. Oh, I unlocked, unlocked new mods and things. So we, we, we got several ranks deep. Oh yeah, look at these. A whole bunch of things got unlocked. I'm not going to go in, into great detail on them. But those things happened. And, I, and my name is blank. I accidentally did, gave myself a blank name. Yeah, this game's fun. Game start. Did I get a new mode? Danger zone. Waves advance faster and enemies f enter the fray more frequently. 25% score bonus, 10% upgrade bonus. So you start leveling faster and faster. So if the beginning of the game feels too slow and after you keep playing the game, you can start activating harder and harder modes. That's neat. That's neat. Alright, so this is... Whoa. Sorry, I was trying to remind myself what the name of the game was, and 
it's not on the taskbar. <laughs> My taskbar does not show this game. What? Uh, this is, I think it was called Nova Drift. Yeah. So this is Nova Drift. Thanks to the developers for sending me a code so I could preview their game. If you want to check it out, there's a link in, this, in the description to the Steam page. Thanks for watching like always, guys. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.